Okay. July 4th. Out here with David. Wind is kind of uh, come going across the right. Maybe maybe a little bit behind, but it's not uh, it's not we don't have a perfect takeoff here. So let's see what we can. your back. Okay, just flying along on the 4th of July. Winds are still 7-8. Uh, Doing about uh, 40 miles an hour with the wind, 38, 39, 41, 40 miles an hour. Yeah, pretty good breeze behind us. And the trims are set at um, 500 feet. See David in the mirror up uh, up above me. He's been wanting to get up into the clouds. They're pretty high. Not too bad out here. A little rocky, but uh, not bad. Uh, 588, uh, 589 RPMs, about 56, still climbing. Crops are starting to come up. Look. They don't look that high out here because there's a, you know, we had a flood and the flood uh, kind of slowed down the, the planning. We're at uh, 750 feet. Fly over here by this lake. We have plenty of outs so, so we can. It's a little bumpy up here. Not too bad, just more of a wavy. Not bounce bounce, but uh, wavy. Don't see many 4th of July celebrators out here. few campers over here, golf carts and four-wheelers running around. Spent yesterday out at Flight Junkies Reunion. 
They had a nice uh, get together. Hosts were real nice. Took care of everybody. Had some real good people out there. It wasn't too crowded. Uh, made it uh, nice for people to fly. I didn't fly. I just uh, went out there and visited. I knew that I'd be flying this weekend, uh, Sunday, and I had to be back. So I didn't take my trike out there, but ran into some really good people. So it was interesting this, uh, at the light uh, junkie. You, know, you get to see all sorts of uh, people flying and different units and so forth. And uh, saw one of the new uh, trikes that they're looking at modifying the, the fly pod and uh, putting fiberglass uh, axles that uh, kind of step back a little bit further and a, uh, a seat, more of a racing type seat, a uh, full seat was nice. Saw people with different lights, setups, hookups. And that was pretty cool. Guys came clear from Arizona, Minnesota, Michigan, Rhode Island. They were from all over. I didn't take any video. I didn't. Just wanted to kind of enjoy the visit, sit around. Watched a, uh, saw Jack uh, install a, a new electronic ignition on a on an older uh, unit, on Mark Clark's uh, unit. Everybody, I think they'll, they'll probably release a uh, video on that. That was pretty cool. Uh, one pilot uh, was out flying and... Uh, And he basically, he was flying along at uh, full speed, and he just kept losing altitude. And he was coming down, and uh, first time I seen where a wing actually had lost its uh, lift uh, porosity or something like that. And uh, I just saw it. It just kept, it just, uh, no matter how fast you went, it wouldn't lift. And it just kind of came down, and it took a little bounce, but uh, everything was okay. Saw some of the newer T-shirts, flight junkie T-shirts. I didn't. Uh, I don't know if they were selling them or not. I was just sort of visiting, so I didn't want to be a burden or get in anybody's way. So I just kind of, kind of stayed to the side, checked things out. But I enjoyed talking to everybody and meeting people. Robert Guthrie. Or Guthridge. I know I'm saying it wrong, wrong Bob, but, or Robert, Bob. And I'm not sure if it's Bob or Robert, but uh, good to meet you at 600 feet, about 19 miles an hour. A little bit of thermals out here. A lift. Get some real big lift there. Turn back to the left, back with the wind. Picking up the speed up to about 36, 37. About uh, 300 feet, doing about 20 miles an hour, pretty much into the wind. David's way ahead of me, over by the LZ, way up there. He's at least a thousand feet, a couple thousand up there. This flight is brought to you by the shoes I wear. Had a guy come up to me and flight junk. He said, "I knew that was you. I saw those shoes." That cracked me up. Pretty fun. Up to 1,100. About 33 miles an hour, about 1,100 feet. Wind coming from the uh, right side of me. About 1,145 feet. 46. Trips all the way in. It really gets a lift. Going into the wind. Doesn't take much power to really put this thing up. It's just beautiful out here, I'm telling you. If you're not flying, you're missing out. This flight uh, probably stay uh, high like this. Next flight uh, will be down low. Probably. Uh, 
head out in the fields over by the river taking off with the wind behind me a light wind I'm okay with that uh, I usually get a good jump and uh, but uh, back behind you to the left to right of you is just a little bit trickier I haven't landed with my trims all the way in in a long time we'll just leave them in and see what it's like down here on the on the bottom here Just a slow, it just doesn't want to go down, it's just cruising down here. Start flying little brakes, just get a little lift. Okay.